Hey there guys, welcome to my second vlog here on Center Stage. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy this content. Today we're going to be talking about how to land the right agent. Uh, now I had an agent myself a couple years ago and I took some valuable lessons from it and uh, some of them I'm going to pass along to you as you make the next step in your acting career. So starting off, guys, research. I cannot stress this enough. This is probably the most important lesson you will learn. Uh, do as much research as you can on the agency and don't search just about three or four. Do about ten. Uh, okay, so then once you've narrowed down your search, do more research on that one agency. Be as thorough as possible. Look at their website. Look at their social media. See how they represent themselves online. Uh, if they have testimonials on their website, see what other actors have said, how actors have been treated when working with them in the past. You definitely want to get a feel for their environment and, and, and how they treat others. If there's a business review online, uh, go read that. See the reviews. See the reputation that they've made for themselves. Uh, is it positive? Is it negative? Really take that into account as you're making your decision in finding the right agency. Research is as, as important as ever. Uh, often at times an actor will walk into an interview with an agent and they will be caught off guard by something that the agent says. So be as prepared as possible. The more research you do, the better prepared you will be. Next, once you've narrowed down your search and you've figured out the agency you want to be with, Next, it's time to book your headshot. And very similar to finding an agent, you also have to do more research into finding a professional photographer. Look at their history. Uh, see how, uh, how many clients they've done in the past. And look at the quality of their work. And, and think to yourself, is this something that I want to send out to my agent? And is this something that I uh, want my agent to send out to casting directors? So when you find a professional photographer, make sure that they're photos are quality, that they're professionally done, and that they have a positive reputation of, uh, with their customers. Also, if they charge fair, uh, if a photographer is, is charging with, with not within your budget, uh, it's not a good chance that you'll end up with them. Unless they're fair and they're able to negotiate something, uh, otherwise search for something that's within your budget. Uh, next, once you have found that photographer, make sure during your photo shoot that you are comfortable, that you are relaxed, that you're wearing something presentable. Again, this is going to be sent out to casting directors, so you want to represent yourself uh, uh, professionally and, uh, and and as natural as possible. Uh, think of the poses that you'll be doing. Look at your face and, and think of the mannerisms that uh, and expressions that you'll have in your face and really take into account that you are representing yourself uh, and you are a brand, basically. Uh, so once your photo shoot is done, do not do anything else. Please ask a photographer to send you a rough draft. Uh, once you are happy with the quality of the photos, you may pay them and uh, you take the final copy and use that uh, to send out to casting directors. Next. Uh, seek advice from local actors in your community. If they've had an agent in the past, or even if they haven't, it's great to always get a second opinion from somebody who has been in the industry. And uh, especially when you're wanting to take a next step like this, uh, you're investing a lot of time into yourself, uh, and you're taking a, uh, a bigger risk. Uh, so you definitely want to get as much advice as possible from someone who is experienced and has acted in a... Uh, in a variety of things before, whether that be in TV, film, or theater. So getting a second opinion never hurts. So seek uh, an actor's advice in your community and, and see what they have to say. Uh, after you've done that, next it's time to put together your demo reel or your audition tape. Now, uh, when I had sent my demo tape, I had performed a monologue. You don't necessarily have to do this. Uh, the agency may even send you a script uh, to read off of, but whatever you do, during your audition tape, make sure that you are presentable and make sure that you are uh, visible in the shot. Make sure your head's not cut off or your body is on an angle. Position yourself to be centered in front of the camera. Uh, make sure that your uh, audio quality is, uh, is great. Make sure that you're able to be heard and that your volume is up. Uh, keep your demo to be within two to three minutes. You don't want to get it any longer than that or else they're just going to turn it off and go on to the next demo reel. Keep it short. Uh, be as enthusiastic as possible. Remember, you are now a brand at this point and, and you want to sell yourself 
so uh, definitely be as uh, as charismatic and, and pick the best monologue for you that you think will show uh, your best ability as an actor. Uh, and uh, you wanna you wanna keep them uh, engaged and you wanna keep them watching. Uh, so those first seven seconds are crucial, but do not go anything past two to three minutes. After that, once you've got your agency and you've booked your photographer and you got your headshots, you got some advice along the way, and then you sent out your demo, if they get back to you and they're happy with what they saw, Congratulations, all your hard work has paid off because now they're going to ask you to come in for an interview. And when you've made it to this point, be as professional as possible. I'm talking about wearing something that is presentable. You don't have to go wearing a formal dress suit, but definitely something that is uh, uh, dressy and presentable. And also show up on time. Be as professional as possible. This is something serious now uh, that you want to uh, uh, you know, take with... Um, with a lot of uh, with a lot of pride so show so be professional and be uh, as presentable as possible during the interview uh, you know treat it like a job interview tell them about your past experience tell them where you see yourself with the agency and the type of roles you want to be portraying uh, it definitely uh, it, it, it gives them some consideration and and Tell them, you know, your goals and, and where you see yourself. It's it's very much like a job interview. There might be at one point when they ask you to do a cold read. Do not get scared, okay? They're going to hand you a script uh, and just go over it. Take your time. Look at it. Uh, come up with a character, uh, one that you think would uh, best suit this particular scene. And just have fun. You know, at this point, they just want to see your ability to perform. Uh, so just have fun, relax, and, uh, and, and perform. Uh, once you've done your cold read, uh, once the interview is over, and if they like you, and they'll present you with a contract, do not sign anything. This is actually your chance to go over any clarification that you may have. If there's any words you don't understand, uh, now is the time to do it with the agent. If the agent asks you to sign up front or pay any money up front, I, I give you the permission to get up, thank them for their time, and walk away because most likely they're not a credible agency. They're trying to scam you, and there are a lot more scammers out there than you realize. If they present the contract to you, take it to a third party, and have them look over it before you make a decision. Guys, these are some valuable tips that you are going to want to, to take, and they're going to only help you as you move forward in your acting career. This is a lot of time you are investing in yourself. This is a lot of money that you're also going to be investing, so take the time and put the effort into it. Remember, do your research, Book with a quality photographer, get advice from local actors, create a demo reel, and once that has all been finished, schedule your interview. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this content today. If you liked what you watched, please subscribe to my video on YouTube, and if you want to see similar content, head to my blog, Center Stage on WordPress. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.